Okay, here is my Sculpt Fun S9 that uh, the nice people at Sculpt Fun sent me. And they also just sent me the 33 watt upgrade kit. Uh, it was pretty easy to install. I actually already had limit switches installed, so that made it even easier. The hardest part of the whole install was getting this terminal through here and getting it into the extrusion on the back. Other than that, it was easy. You had to take the whole X bar off, which was not a big deal at all. Uh, I have already observed one thing here. I'm going to do a light burn drawing and I'm gonna run this thing at 30 millimeters a second. And let me show you what happens here. Let me hit start. haven't noticed already I'm getting some very squiggly lines very squiggly okay Let's take a look at the squiggly lines here they're pretty bad look at the top of the p and the f there it almost looks like bart simpson's haircut now let me slow this down to 10 millimeters a second and let's hit start Take a minute here because I'm going pretty slow. Once we get up to the next line here. I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, now take a look at the APTS here. And now look at it here. It's absolutely perfect here. So because of the weight of this module and it, maybe the inertia or the force or whatever, it makes this machine move. So my first observation is that you have to slow down if you're doing some really detailed work here. So the machine's not going to be a speed demon, but it's doing a fantastic job here. So um, uh, I have everything tensioned correctly. I've... Uh, run the eccentric nut down here you can't really see it there it is back there i've tightened it up uh the x rail is good and tight the laser won't rock back and forth uh, because i have the nuts uh, correctly adjusted ditto with the y movements here so i ran off my edge just a little bit here and i put a mark on my spoil board which i always hate but whatever so let's just do a repositional accuracy test now while I'm here and see if it lands in the same spot. Let's hit start again. And we'll be able to tell pretty quick if that's the case. I'm going to shut it down before it runs that nine again on the top row. I don't see any doubling of any lines at all. So repositional accuracy is perfect. I'm just gonna stop this so I don't bark up my uh, board anymore. And let's run it back to home and make sure it homes correctly. Thought I hit the home button. It's not homing for some reason. So, okay, well, I'll figure that out in a minute, but uh, 
at any oh it's because i stopped the job i probably have to unlock it or something so um uh, at any rate it's an excellent laser the only thing i've noticed so far is just that it can handle very quick speeds when it's doing line drawing and i'll try to do some images or something like that and see what happens so i think that by gaining power you maybe lose some agility and some some speed but uh it's a small price to pay <laughs>